Anybody here watch the movie The War of the Worlds? Raise your hand. Ah, very good. Okay. Heart pounding at times? The War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise probably describes how I want you to communicate with your clients better than any movie I've ever seen. As you, as you watch War of the Worlds, the movie basically opens up after the, a brief thing from Morgan Freeman, a little message from the movie itself. It opens up in New York. We see Tom Cruise, and he's a crane operator on the docks. He's just a blue-collar kind of guy. He comes home from work, and he comes over here, and he, he runs into his ex-wife and her new husband, and she's pregnant, and he's, you know, a lot of people can relate to this all of a sudden. It's like, oh, yeah, this situation in life. This is what happens to about half of all the relationships in the world, right? And so she's there to drop off the kids. The kids are 10 and 16 years old. And so the son is like, hey, Dad, how you doing? Okay. And the, and the little girl is like, hi, Dad. You know, you're eating bad food. And so they go into the house. The house is a mess. And, of course, the, Mrs., the ex, Mrs., whoever, whatever his name was, walks up the, and, and says, the house is a mess. It's just a disaster area and all this kind of stuff. And he's not very happy that she's there. And, of course, he, she wish, he wishes that the, they were back together and that the world was good in that respect. So now, all of a sudden, you're watching War of the Worlds. This is a movie about aliens. But there's not an alien in sight. Nothing like that is in sight. What you have here is an everyday family with an everyday situation that's really normal that everybody identifies with. And it's still not done. Steven Spielberg's not going to go to the story yet. He wants to make sure that you get that this is you. And so he takes, he takes you outside. Tom Cruise and the son go outside, and they're going to play catch. Now, I don't know. Did you, did you see the photos of my son and I playing catch? It was a really warm day we had up north. And uh, it was kind of, it was winter, okay? And uh, we're playing catch. We got to 30 degrees one day. And I'm like, you want to go play catch? He's like, oh, yeah, it's really warm outside, Dad. Let's go. So we got, it. We, we got I mean, we put pants on. You know, and we usually wear shorts around the house. But we put, put some pants on. We had our T-shirt. And we went outside for about a half hour. And people thought that was photo worthy or whatever. So it was cool. It was cool outside, too. It was 30 degrees. But it was not terrible. So Steve, so, so Tom Cruise is there. And they're throwing the ball back and forth. And they're having a conversation, exactly like my son and I, except for my son and I tend to not yell at each other when we talk. We usually tend to see things eye to eye. But nevertheless, we can really relate to the play and catch, father, son, play and catch. And they're, so they're throwing, and the, the dad is saying, now, if you ever take my car again, I'm not going to ever let you drive it again. I'm, I'm not happy with you. This is not good behavior that you had today. Dad, screw you, and all this kind of stuff. And so Cruz whip, or the son whips the ball, boom, breaks the glass, and now all of a sudden you have a real-life family situation. That's a real-life family situation. The clouds. Electricity, lightning starts to hit. Only in New York do you see clouds like go in a cyclone section. And I'm like, I've been to New Anybody here ever been to New York City? People in New York City are very different than anywhere else in the world. Nothing phases these people. You could sit there and have anything going on, and it's just normal, everyday stuff. So they look up, and all of a sudden, the clouds are there. They're swirling, and the lightning stops. The lightning comes. And even when everything should be going to heck, it's still New York. This is still you. Every, every, the world's here. Everything is fine. Steven Spielberg does this better than anyone. He has you on your landscape. This is your world. And now is when the transition begins. Tom Cruise goes, you know what? This doesn't look right. I think I'm going to go and check around town and see what's going on. He heads down, downtown to see what's going on, checking with friends and buddies because all the batteries have stopped working, the cell phones have stopped working, the telephones have stopped working. Everything doesn't work. And we have this slow transition. It's not fast. This is not a fast transition. This is perfectly done. And so as, he, as it switches, now all of a sudden they're coming out of our world, the world that you and I live in, and slowly but surely we recognize that something is going wrong, but we don't quite know what it is until minute 28 in the movie, at which point the first tripod emerges from the Earth. And then, of course, we know, ah, now we're in Stephen's world. Okay, But that's how you present. And so when you're going to present, whether you're in selling, whether you're going to ask the girl out this weekend, whatever it is, you always start. And by the way, older people have to ask, that, ask the girl out too. Okay, so it's not just 16. I mean, it could be, it should have been, but it doesn't work that way. So, so as we go on, it's a slow transition from their world to your world, to what you want to communicate, the message you want to get across. Otherwise, the alternative is, is just to start them off in your world, which is, of course, the only world that matters, right? It's all about me. Here's my cool product. Here's my cool service. I sell this. I sell that. Hey, you buy my stuff, right? But that doesn't work. 
slow transition. We go from their world slowly into this world. And then, of course, what follows is a pretty, I mean, I think the movie is good. I don't think it's amazing, but it's a good movie. But the first 26 minutes of that movie are brilliant. And we'll talk about the four movies that I suggested we watch over the course of the weekend. But for now, realize that when you're communicating with somebody, you want that person to be your client. You really do. And you want to start off in their world. And you need to know them. And it's not knowing their business. Anybody can know their business. Oh, what's your P&L? It's all online. Everything's online nowadays. But I want you to know them, and I want you to know what matters to them. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. So the landscape effect is when you take them from their world into your world, and you're going to create a solution frame now. 